where it said it's a celebration of life. Most of the times when we get together and celebrate, we have a good time. We dance a little bit. We shout a little bit. And Evangelist Jones wouldn't have it no other way. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for your sanctified Savior. Amen. First giving honor and first giving honor to him who first loved us to the presiding prelate of this house in honor of our great bishop, Dr. Grissett, and man, First Lady Grissett, to all of these ecclesiastical dignitaries, missionaries, saints, and friends, and more so to this bereaved family who I consider my family as well. Man, I came here when I was two years old. I've been a member here for 46 years. And long as I remember, I've been dancing with all of them. Man, and we just thank God. And man, we already know, again, like we forestated, this is a celebration of life. So we're going to have a Holy Ghost party on today. Man, now the family had got together earlier in the time of bereavement, and they put together order. For and we're going to stick closely to that. The only thing changing if it's a request from the family or the Holy Ghost to tell us to do something different. Amen. All right, so we're going to have a prayer by Minister Corey Thomas, followed by a selection from the choir. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sand. Clap your hands if you know our God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Please, if you would, bow your heads. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how excellent is thy name. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how excellent is thy name. Our Father in Jesus' name, it's again, God, that we come before you, God. Want to tell you two simple kind words this afternoon, this morning, and that is thank you. First of all, God, we thank you, God, for giving us favor to wake up this morning, clothed in our right mind and the blood warm in our veins. And again, we say thank you. But God, we thank you, God, for this great woman of God, this vessel, God, that you allowed us to borrow. God, we thank you, God, for the life, God. As we celebrate this woman of God on today, God, we tell you, thank you, God. And Lord, we ask you right now, God, to look upon this family, God. Lord, we ask you, God, to strengthen their hearts, strengthen their minds, God. Be with them, God, as we go through this together on today. And Father, we pray that your anointing reign in this place on today. And Father, we ask now that you have your way. Father, turn this celebration into revival on today, God. Let somebody, God, come with hands lifted, saying, I yield, I yield. I can't hold out any longer. Now, if you do these things, God, we will be so careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Clap those hands and let's seal that in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Search me, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. 
Search my mind. Search me, Lord. If you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me because I, I just want to be right. Anybody just want to be right on this journey? Search me. Listen, we're going to have our Old Testament by Minister Lindsay, our New Testament by Elder Goins, and immediately follow that, we got a selection of the granddaughter sister. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. This is a homegoing celebration for Mother Jones. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Giving that unto the Holy Spirit, who is the head of my life, to the bishop and to each and every one in the respectable place. I'm here to read the Old Testament scripture and I'm going to read Mother Joan's favorite because when she and I spoke most of the time she would tell me this is what she loved to read and listen to and it's coming from Isaiah chapter 38 he said in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how I have walked, walked before thee in truth and with perfect heart. And with a perfect heart. And have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept. Then came a word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, Go and said to Hezekiah, Thus said the Lord God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer and I have seen thine tears. Behold, I will add unto thee days fifteen years. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hands of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city. The best part of this scripture, and I'll just say this and I'm going. That there was a time years ago when Mother Jones was sitting right over there in a seat. And I came to church that Sunday morning and I walked right straight to her before doing anything else in the church. And I said, God told me to tell you, if you continue praising her, he will add years to your life. And there was a time when she was in a hospital and she called me. And she said, Minister, they said, this is my last day on earth. And I went from work straight there to the hospital, took a flower that I bought downstairs and I took it to her and I gave it to her and tell her, Mother Jones, smell your rose cause you're going back to your house. And she did go back to her house. She did go back to her house cause, and I know some family members that can't remember if they're still here alive or whatever. They said, this man is crazy. The doctor said she's dying and he said he's going back to her house. But she did go back to her house. And she had more about, what, five more years? She lived five more years. So don't doubt God. God bless you.
the same word that Mother Jones read from Philippians 3 20 and 21. But our commonwealth is in heaven, and from it we await a savior, the Lord Jesus, who will change our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power which enables him even to be subject of all things to himself. Be encouraged, family. Be encouraged, new family. Sit down, servant. Sit down. Sit down and wrestle. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We have a selection by Sister Denise. <laughs> Sit down and rest a little while. It's <laughs> my baby cake. <laughs> I know I've been
with my mind. Stay Lord Jesus. Just another day. That the Lord has kept me. I'm going to change it and then I'm going to go. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm not on program. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm so glad that the Lord kept me friendless, McFadden. I'm so glad that the Lord has kept her. He has kept her through the rain, through the storm. And do the rain. I know it's time to go, but I won't complain. I used to, but I won't. I could, but I won't. I won't. I won't. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. <laughs> Got a song that the angels can't even sing.
Say, I tried over and over and over. But there is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Oh, that's a good place to shout right there. Somebody say, when I tried everything, and everything is well. I remember Evangelist Smith preached a sermon one time and said, just try God first. Come on. They want to know, Karen, during this bereaved hour, how is it that we're going to get through this? Somebody said they're going to take a drink. Somebody may even try to smoke. But there is no other way that I can live without you, God. Now, now, in the middle of bereavement, if the family can pray, Yeah, yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that, that the prophet Joel spoke about. He said, in the last days I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Come on, let me hear your war cry this morning. Come on, you might as well put a praise on it. Absent from the body, be present with the Lord. Come on. You know Evangelist's life. Evangelist Jones lived a life so she can live again. See, saints don't die, they just sleep away. And when the first trumpet sounds, so the time that you can rejoice, because you know at the first trumpet sound, your mama's going to feel up out the ground. Because can't no grave pull her body down. She been down in the water in Jesus' name. When she crossed over, she already had the seal in her forehead. The blood of Jesus, God's Son, cleanses us from all of us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all came to have church this morning. Remember, Francis Jones used to dance over there for a little bit. And as she got older, it moved like she wanted to. She would just wobble a little bit. And I remember just about two weeks ago, she was sitting right there. And the anointing failed. And we understand that she couldn't raise her hand as high as she wanted to. But what she did when the spirit had, she leaned with it and rocked with it. And she threw her hand and she would just wave her hand. 
to say anything that I can do to just give God my praise. Yes. Come on. We came to church. We might as well have church. Because that's what she would be doing right now. She would be dancing right now. She would play them right now. The musicians act like they've been born again too. When you hear my home going, don't worry about me. Well, you don't see me praising on this side no more. She said, don't worry about me. Somebody want to know. I know we need to move, but I seen you RJ. RJ say, if you know what he's been through, you'd understand his praise. Gotta move. They act like God been good. There is no wait. No other way. This is all I know. In the mix of my going through, this is all I know. It's just to put a praise on it. This is all I know. In the mix of hell and high water. In the mix of bereavement, this is all I know. To put a praise on it. This is that that the prophet Joel spoke about. He said, in my last days, he said, I will, I will pour out my spirit and all flesh. Brittany, you act like God been good to you or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know he's been good. We gotta move. We gotta move. There's somebody wondering, Carrie, after somebody in the family may be wondering after a great loss is this and the phone calls and all the prayers. How is it, Brother Carrick, that we're gonna get through this? But I believe I can sum it up in six letters, two words. One conjunction and one noun. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, but God. <laughs> How am I going to get through this? But God. I would have thrown in the tower when I got the news, but God. What a, 
drunk some deadly poison and took it off because it's hard to lose someone that you love. But Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor in heaven later. And he said, I'll, I'll give you rest. Listen, we're going to have acknowledgments by the Elijah Bell funeral staff, followed by the resolution read by Sister Mosetta Johnson. Amen. Come on. In that order. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For this is a day that we all have never seen before. And we should never see this day again. But the God who woke us up this morning and started us on our way. Everybody should tell God, thank you for two simple kind words. And that is, thank you. God knows I feel the power of God in this place. I'm trying to behave myself and maintain. But when we think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for us, our soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? To the family who have entrusted the homegrown celebration of evangelist Annie Jones will have us, the Elijah Bell staff, to stand here to say to you on today, thank you. Special thanks to the general chairman of the New Covenant Deliverance Cathedral, Bishop Grace and her pastor, <laughs> where she served well. To the elders, to the choirs, special recognition to the missionary department where she served as president. Special thank you to Deacon Giles and the number one choir where she sang and served well. To the entire New Covenant family where she served well to all friends, to each and every one of you, thought and not robbery, to take time out of your busy walks of life, to be with this family on today, the family wishes to say thank you. Family, I know what it is, and I know what it feels like to lose a mother. I've been there. I know what it feels like to lose a grandma. I've been there. And what I want to say to the family on today, much prayer, much power, little prayer, little power, but no prayer, no power for a family that prays together, stays together. And not only to the family, but I want to make this to the entire congregation at large as I go to my seat. Be sure that your name is written down. Be sure that your name is written down. And I want to tell you why. I don't want to leave here and stand at the gate and be made shame when they look at me and say we can't find your name you be sure that your name is written down just a short snippet of a song that mama jones was sing give me b five hallelujah 
Mama would always sing this song right here. She would stand right here with the number one choir. I think Mama stood over here. She stood right here. And she would go to rocking, rocking that auntie. I know what prayer can do. I know what prayer can do. Prayer can do. I know what prayer can do. She would do. I found the answer. I found the answer in prayer. I tell you everywhere. And I know. I know. I know. I know what prayer can do. one sheet, you know, and I just say, Lord, be with me. Amen. Amen. Because this is truly a special lady. Amen. She was special, special, special. And just looking at the congregation, I know she was special. Amen. Amen. But giving honor to the spirit of Christ ahead of my life, to my bishop, Dr. Grissett, each and every one of your respectable places. Amen. Amen. New Covenant Deliverance Cathedral, 2404 Northwest 20th Street, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Resolution. Evangelist Annie Marie Jones. No matter what your trials are or how big your mountain seem, the Lord is there to see you through. He'll go to all extremes. So if your cross seems too hard to bear and you know not what to do, the one who loves you most of all will be there to see you through amen whereas in the providence of god it has brought to a close of life our evangelist jones evangelist jones joined the new covenant livers cathedral formerly highway holding the church of christ in the 70s while here she was about her father's business serving in areas such as singing with the number one choir the ncdc ensembles the mass choir served on the food committee, Sunday school scholar, president of our women in the ministry, NCDC God elects freedom fighters, prison ministry, NCDC women's retreat advisory committee, NCDC ministry, outreach ministry, vacation Bible school teacher, and wherever she was needed. Amen, amen, because truly she was on the battlefield for the Lord, amen. Amen. Whereas we, the officers and members of the New Covenant Livers Cathedral, feel that it's befitting to express our sympathy to the family and the loved ones of Evangelist Jones, you have our sincere prayer. 
whereas we were Miss Evangelist Jones singing and preaching down here. She would sing until she got happy. She sang songs with purpose and meaning, songs like, when you hear my home going, don't worry about me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Move while you can for the Lord. I'll go if I have to go by myself. And I'm going to add a footnote to that because I remember she often said, you ain't going to heaven with me. I sure ain't going to hell with you. Amen. She also said, try Jesus. He's all right. Tell God about it. I need the Lord every day. Just to name a few. Amen. Because we can go on and on and on because God knows she was truly a songstress. Amen. Be it resolved that we bow in honor submission to him whom never make a mistake. And remember, Evangelist did what she had to do. Thank God she had, I call it that Hezekiah spirit for a reason. Kim, Tiny, Sherry, Curtis, Vince, Kojak, and some more. Amen. A few more. Amen. She had to make, I'm sorry. She had to make sure that she had that special one-on-one -on -one conversation with each and every one of you. We know there is no love like a mother's love. Remember, God is love. Amen. We lead this Bible, Bible verse to the family. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Be it resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy kept at our church records. This second day of April, the year 2022, in the city of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Humbly submitted Sister Mozetta Johnson, Secretary, Dr. Ralph Grissett, Bishop and Pastor. Amen. Amen. And we do love you all. Amen. Amen. Listen, that was wonderful. Listen, the Bible says, work out your own soul salvation. She came here and she worked. Amen. Amen. Listen, we're going to give room for family and friends to stand here and give their remarks now now we got specific instructions limit your conversations and we're not gonna have 10 11 12 people speaking you can talk to them about that at the house amen so those who uh, <laughs> obedience is better than sacrifice so but for those who would like to come want to give your opportunity and um to say what's on your heart. Amen? Amen. Yes, ma'am. Amen, amen. While the sister's coming, I did my roll call. Lisa, I ain't forget you. Amen. I just couldn't see. <laughs> amen. It is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord, celebrating the most anointed woman that I knew. Amen. She was a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, a friend, an auntie. She was everything that we needed in her. Mother was an awesome woman of God. She was devoted to God. I remember many times that mother would be in the hospital and I would make it there to see her. And we would pray. And I would say, Mother, you're going to be all right because mother... That came to me when my mother died. And she said, Cuddy, I'll be your mother. And she meant the world to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I hate to see her go. And I hate to see her family suffer. But don't cry because I'm not crying because mother is gone. I'm crying because mother lived a life worthy to be praised of all of her goodness in the inside of her. She left us a legacy to follow. She wanted us to be just like her. That she treasured her relationship with God. She honored her relationship with God. And she would say, Connie, don't worry. I'll be your mother too. That was the best thing that ever happened. Mother, my mother died in 99. And I called mother. And mother said, Connie, don't worry. I'll be your mother. And many times, you know, we give up on people. Don't never give up on your sisters and brothers because they are able to change just like we change. We all been in through something in this land and in this, and we got to get our lives right. 
We got to really dedicate our lives to the Lord. Don't play church. Be church. Amen. This is the reason why we're here. We are here to save somebody else. We're not we here to celebrate her life, but celebrating her life will be you giving your life to the Lord and meaning it and stop living in sinful nature. Amen. Because you cannot make it in the kingdom of heaven living and thinking you're a part-time Christian and a part-time sinner. How you going to get there? Hallelujah. And I will, say, I will close with this. God took my spirit to heaven. Amen. And the first thing God said to me, your name must be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. He looked in that book and he saw my name. So if you want to make it to heaven, you better get yourselves right because God is not playing with about that. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I give homage to the family, Lisa, Sherry, Kojak, and all of y'all. Y'all know I love you. I met y'all at Lakeview Center. I spent a lot of years there with you. Amen. And all of y'all been so special to me. But mother was my mother too. everything that have breath praise ye the Lord I do give honor to the spirit of Christ this morning and just thanking and praising God because I've been tossing and turning for two nights uh, to think of what I would say about this great woman of God praise the Lord because I used to be the baby and Annie Giles and Marie Jones took me under their wings to start my missionary training. They taught me how to feed the hungry. I know how to cook food in mass number that I can feed at least how many, Annie? 100 people. Yes, my God. And I thank and praise God for all the things that they've done. But I had to think of something that I could say about a dear friend who would call me anytime or day or night. And I thought of this. Marie started running this Christian race. She counted up the calls to see if she could stand the pace. She took on this role with heaven in her view. See, she made up her mind that she had to go through. See, Bishop Grissett reminded her, don't run too swift. Don't run too fast. You're not strong enough to make it. Hallelujah. You're not strong enough to last. But take on this road to the finish line and you will see that God will meet you there. See, you can't run too swift. You can't run too fast. But you got to know your course and your race. And Marie took that on with full nature, her whole mind, her whole body. Once she clutched her hands into you, that was it because you was going to get phone calls. You was going to get prayer requests. You was going to do all the things. But one thing, Maria, let you know with the quickness. Don't mess with Bishop Grissett. Now, if you want to fight and you want to get her stumbling over her words, all Annie and I had to do when you mentioned something about Bishop Grissett, we'll get right behind her. Let her know that we got your back, girl. Whatever you need to do, whatever you need to take care of. All right. So, saints of God, I know this is hard. I've lost my mother. I lost my father. I lost my grandbrother. And the last two years, I done lost my baby sister and my oldest brother. But let me tell you something. God will see you through all of this. There is nothing, absolutely nothing too hard for God. Pray our strength in the Lord. Hello, everyone. Good morning. This is going to be really quick. To my extended family for over 38 years now, this has been my auntie. 
treated me as her own. Blood do not make you family. Love make you family. 38 years I came into this lady life and she showed me no different face. She was always the same. So for that, she knew I loved her then, I love her now, and I will love her forever. Just remember people, love each other. We all gonna take this road one day. We don't know how, we don't know when, we don't know why things happen, but they happen. This is my sister from another mother and we are sisters. Blood don't matter. This is over 38 years of sisterhood. I came in this family through this family. So be encouraged today, people. She's standing beside me because through all that I've been through, it took a lot just to walk up here. But I want you guys to know I love you. I always love you. I always be here for you. And we will get through this. But the way we're going to get through it with peace, love, and harmony and move forward as she would want us to do, we're going to celebrate today. So when we leave here, we're going to do this for Auntie, how she will want us to do it. Love you, family. We're going to have our final say right before. Praise the Lord. David said that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. We're going to praise the Lord today because of his love and kindness and his tender mercy. Because he loved Marie, because he loved all of us in this building so much that he allowed goodness and mercy to follow us all the days of our life. God so loved the world that he gave, he stepped out of eternity into time and he saw Marie and you and I, and he gave up his life. He brought eternity from heaven, stepped out of heaven into time and died that we might live. And Marie is not dead, she went home, she's away. He said, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house is many mansions. Don't worry about it. I'm going away and prepare a place for you. So he came back for Ambassador Marie Jones and took her home, where in her eternal home, where she'll live forever. No more pain, no more cancer, no more high blood pressure. He died and took all that in himself and nailed it to the cross and he left it there. He didn't bring it back, he left it there. So he came back to get the freedom fighters, Sister Green, Sister Woodson who went on home, Sister Smith, and I'm Evangelist Andy Parrish. I stand in the door, opening the way for those that are dark as a lily in the valley, a light that men can see and be guided on their way home. She's now, she's not lost you all. She went home and she's awaiting us. She's in that great cloud of witness who's looking down, telling us, come on, you can make it. You can make it through prayer. We went to the women's prison. The warden said we couldn't get in. I was supposed to bring the message. I said, Marie, God said we were gonna get in. I brought a message and I'm gonna give it to those that need it. I said, let's get together, let's agree in prayer. Warden stepped out and said, you can't come in. I said, but we have a message. We brought the mail from heaven. I said, we are gonna deliver the message. Open the door and we went in. And I thank God for this great ambassador, this ministry of reconciliation, because God came and broke the wall and reconciled us and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And she worked at that. So sleep on, sister, and take your rest. I'll, they say goodbye, but I say good night. I'll see you in the morning.
we have one more, then immediately following this person, we have event. We have missionary Giles coming. Thank you, Lord, that I'm here today with my favorite auntie and family and friends. Um, I'm the Johnson from the Johnson, Brandy, Yolanda, and Boo Boo. We, we thank you thank my family for being here with a great lady that I served through my lifetime. I miss, I miss you, auntie. I'm going home, and the Lord will bless you and forgive you for all the good things you did for everyone in the church today and beyond. In Jesus' name, amen. Finally, we have Brother Roman Lee is gonna come. Roman's gonna, got something to say. Camera said it's all right. We love you, so go ahead. Amen, real quick, y'all. Amen. You know, to today, give it on to the Spirit of Christ, who's my life, to Bishop Grissa, to each and every one. You know, I, I love my good friend. Amen. You know, she and she took me as a godson. Amen. I call her mom. But you know, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it so fast. When I used to have my appreciation programs many years, Amen. Vendors Jones and Sister Blake and all of them used to come and they used to help me out with my program. Amen. Every year. Amen. I just didn't only tell them thank you now. But I did it when they was when she was still around. But you know, God been good to her and good to all of us. But we love you, but God love you best. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Listen, right quick, we have an expedition. Brown Park out front. Here you're blocking somebody in. As well as a silver, I believe it's for fusion on this side that's blocking somebody in. Please move your expeditiously. Amen. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Amen. All right. All right. Y'all know who I, I am, but I'm the baby. If the rest of them gone, she was dragging me here with a mean? prayer cloth on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, Mommy, why I gotta wear this? You gotta have your head covered going in the house of the Lord. She sat over here and I was back there talking to Ricky Rogers. She stood up. <laughs> Why you always got to embarrass me? <laughs> but I just want to say I was with her when she died. Come on, baby. One number love in that room. Come on, baby. Knew she was tired. Yes. She fought for us. She was tired. So I grabbed her hand and I said, go, mommy, go. We're going to be all right. She loved this church. You couldn't talk about this. You kick us out. <laughs> Get out of my house. Ain't nobody talking about my pastor. <laughs> but I live here. She said, not today. <laughs> I had a dream the other night. A lot of people say, why are you smiling? Because she ain't in no more pain. I don't know how she was suffering. I hated going to her house, not to see her, but to see her like that. You got up there, you see all these people, how active she was? That was our mama. Yes, sir. She used to drive her all to the movies and she gonna put you out in the front. <laughs> Can you put me down the street? No, I want to see you go in. <laughs> so I hated seeing that person. Not my mama, but that body, the shell of herself. Come on, baby. But please remember her like she used to throw herself out the pew, Darlene would say. Sit up there and sing and serve on every boy she could. 
I fell asleep the other night and I woke up, walk around and this is in my spirit. I can see your face just smiling, talking to everybody. I made it in. Hey, how you doing? I'm here. I'm here. That's all I wanted to say. I love you, mommy. I just want to say uh, to my family, I was sitting here when um, Minister Lindsay read the scripture of Hezekiah. And he said, I had 15 years, but we understand that one day with God is a thousand years. So I just I sat there and I pondered that thing and I began to talk to my brother-in-law and I said, you know what? We looked at at 80 would be her 15 years. But every time she went down to devil's door, she came back a thousand years. We was in at the hospital and they said nothing else we can do. Me, my cousin Sheila, and my nephew Kojak, and um, my other cousin Bunny, we all was in the room. No, it was called me, Kojak, and Danita. And Danita was at the feet. And we began to commission God. We put a demand on heaven. And my cousin came in and she began to pray with us. And as we put the demand on God, heaven began to hear us. See, there are sometimes it don't take a lot of people to be in the room because some people want to mourn, but God say, all I want is the glory. So we began to pray. And when we prayed, Danita began to go at her feet and we began to call her soul back because it wasn't finished. So she came back, she opened her eyes and she began to look around and smile. A thousand years. She went another time at Broward General. When I got there, the Lord said, put every mourner out because she ain't going nowhere. I need the glory out of this. We began to pray. She came back a thousand years. So see why we was focusing the natural on 80 Mama already had her 15 that God promised her. So we ain't got no sorrow in this. All we know is that God did what God said because not a word come out of his mouth shall come back unto him void. So mama got her 15 years. She got it. You better know she got it. God don't shortchange. She got those years, y'all. So when you're questioning your mind and you're saying, but mama said 80 or 90, remember one day with him is a thousand years. Mama got it. Mama got her 15 family in Jesus' name. Get up into the spirit of Christ, which is the head of my life. Oh, that's my mama. That was my baby. Um, I had planned a trip like a couple weeks before she got sick. And I didn't want to go on my trip. She told me to go on your trip and enjoy yourself. And I'm going to be right here when you come back. So the Wednesday before, I say, Ma, I can't go. I can't go because you done got real sick. She looked up. She said, you got to go. Say that to say this. She looked up and told me, if you don't go, I can't leave here. God said, I can't leave here in peace. Because you done lost your son a year ago. I just lost my dad January the 1st. And now me, you won't be able to take it. So you can't be here. So I went on my trip. And I felt it, that she was slipping. So my sisters called me. They FaceTimed me. And trying to say, she won't open her eyes. But I bet if you say something, she'll open her eyes. I say, Mama, I love you. 
She opened up them eyes. She said, baby, I love you too. Enjoy your trip. She said, I'm going to be right here when you come by. I say, I come back tomorrow night. But my mama died Friday night because she knew I was coming by Saturday. Mama, you know I love the Jew from the bottom of my heart. I did everything that a daughter can ever do. And I know you loved it, me. But I will be all right. I will make it and I won't give up. I will be all right. God will heal me. He will heal me from my hurt from losing my baby. I know he will heal me from the hurt from losing you. It's like hurt on top of hurt on top of hurt. But I know I'll make it. I love you, mama. I just like to say my mom, she was, me and her had a special bond. You know, um, I remember a few days, if I don't call my mom, she'll call me like, it's been two days since I heard from you. I, I still have my belt in the closet. And you know, I tell my kids and my grandkids that today, I still have that belt in the closet. You know, um, and when I see my mom on my birthday, March 16th, everybody was telling me that she wouldn't open her eyes. I went in that hospital room and I looked over at her and I called mama. She opened her eyes and looked at me. I said, you know, today my birthday. She said, yeah. I said, do you know how old I am? She tried to mama, yeah. I said, well, mama, how old I am? But she couldn't get it out. She tried. So I helped her. I said, 61. She said, yeah. And then walked away from that harsh pillar rule. I was sitting there with my mama before I left out of there. I said, you better get up out of this bed because I got that belt in this closet. And she looked up at me and opened her eyes like that and blanked them. Like she said, I got mine too. <laughs> you know, mama, I'm going to miss you, and I love you. I love you, and I hope to see you again one day on the other side. Y'all pray much the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Um, as y'all know, my grandma, that's just my mom, but that's my mother. You know, there's a... Um, my grandma raised me, Coach and Kintara, and that's a blessing because she raised her kids. You know, she didn't have to do what she did. I grew up running around in this church. I got spankings from climbing under the pews. <laughs> I sang in every choir, Trina. <laughs> I thank God. If you don't have somebody in your life that was like my grandma, find them. My mama say, I need to see my great grands. I said, okay, I'm going to bring them. In my mind, my idea of keeping her here was keeping her hoping for something. So the longer I took the brain, I felt like the longer she was. I took my boys over there to see. She said, oh, my God, it's so big. My kids towering over her. I hugged her. We sat with her. I was late for work because she wanted me to go get a macaroni and cheese for Popeyes, which <laughs> which if I say I'm not going to get it, she say, Tara, just going to order it. And I say, I'm going to throw it in the garbage. But um, <laughs> two days after my kids seen her, she went in the hospital. Five days after my kids seen her, she died. So it took me talk to my mom and my auntie Kim. I said, no, if I just would have kept the kids away a little longer, She'll be here a little longer. But something told me that's selfish. I appreciate the life, the eternity this woman lived. And I appreciate the part of that eternity she gave to all of her grands, great grands, and great. She only got one, two, three, four great, great grands. I thank her for all of it. Get someone like my mom in y'all life. 
please. It's an unexplainable love. I miss you. I love you. Amen. Wonderful tribute, man, from others and the family. I'm going to move. I'm going to move now. It's almost preaching time, but we have a selection. She said, Man, show it. Man, show it. Sister Darlene came. Her and her sister flew in all the way from Philly to be here, a man to support. Praise the Lord, everybody. Giving honor to the Spirit of Christ who said my life. Bishop Grinsett, my founder, elders, missionaries, everybody in the places. Um, I honestly did not think that I would be singing this song this soon because I'm, um, Kim called me, everybody know that's my best friend, but Kim called me and said, um, you know, mom wants you to sing, you know, I have a funeral. I was like, why is she talking about a funeral? I said, they're about to discharge her. Then she called me. She had Kojak call me on the phone while she was in the hospital. And she was on the phone being so busy. I don't know what she was doing, but she said, I want you to come down when, when the time comes, I need you to sing my song. I said, all right. I said, but we're about to go home. I said, so we have a little time. So when Kojak called the second time, I had already, me and my sister had already put ourselves on standby. When that call came, bought my ticket, and I said, I got to honor this request. And I honestly counted an honor and a privilege for her to ask me to sing for her because no matter how far away I was, she would get some type of someone to get to me to send her voice note of me singing to her kim said i tried to sing your song but it didn't work so so and i said last night um this is probably gonna be my last time singing this song because i've been singing the song since i was maybe 20 years old so i'm going to sing it for her this one last time and whatever y'all have i need y'all to give it to me today all right You know my heart, and you know my mind. Lord, you know when I'm right, Lord, you know when I'm wrong. Know everything about me, you know, Lord, everything about me, you know, Ooh, I am so very glad that you know.
God for the life of this evangelist. It's like they said many times for many years, the doctors called the family in and say it's over. For many years, they did it several times. Now, how many of y'all know that the devil can kill what God wants alive? Listen, it's preaching time now. Singing is, is real good. Dancing is good. But it's the word of God that's going to keep us. Now, there's always protocol to this. We walk in the courtroom. We stand for the judge. A president of the United States walks in, you stand. Now we're talking about the mouthpiece of God. The commentator of Calvary is coming to the podium now. Her longtime pastor, the one that she'd fight about, our bishop, the chief watchman over our soul. As I introduce to some and present to others in honor of the great bishop, Dr. Ralph Grissom. Church, say amen. amen. You may be seated. Indeed, we are thankful and grateful. Amen to all of our pulpit guests. Bless the Lord, and we thank God, amen, for the, the family. Amen. I, I got me a little list. I'm scared to pull it out due to the fact, amen, I ought to know the name anyway, but I know most of them. Amen. God bless you. Now, our hearts have been felt sad this day, but I know one thing. The God in whom we serve has got it all taken care of. Can you say amen? We thank God, amen. Bless the Lord for the Alps family. Just know that she's a woman of God. Hallelujah. Now, as I sat there for, for a while, amen, I felt pretty good a few minutes ago, amen. But I've already heard a eulogy, hallelujah. This woman, Evangelist Marie Jones, is truly a woman of God. She was a witness and a worker, and she held her own. And I thank God he meant for her and this entire family. And I'm, I'm looking for something. The ones I ain't already got, I'm looking for them. Is that all right? <clears throat> Thanks, Evangelist Jones is not dead. Let me say it again. Evangelist Marie Jones is not dead. She is just with a period sleeping. Well, somebody say, what, 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 what do you mean by, by she just sleeping? Because the life that she lived separated her from everything else to prove to me that she is not dead. See, see you got to understand that, that when you know the Lord in the departments of your sin, Amen. You don't never die. You 
you, you, you just sleep. Somebody shout the word sleep. Say it again. Say sleeping. She is right where she want to be. Because the Bible indicates that, amen, on the other shore is a better life. It's better for you. But this old earthly house that we live in, pain and sorrow and hurts and limping, is going on now. Hallelujah. But Jesus told Martha and Mary he ain't dead. And anybody who believes that Jesus is the Christ. Now the only way that you can clarify this idea that, amen, one is not dead, you got to be born again. Now you can't go back to, the, to your mother's womb and be born. Amen. But if you believe on him, as the scriptures say, then out of your belly shall, shall flow. Well, somebody maybe not know, don't know how to get yourself together. If you simply believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that alone. We'll take you to the other side where we glorify the Lord. Amen. Now, we, we can't be dipping in and out. We, we can't be <laughs> slipping and sliding. Peeping and creeping. <laughs> but a worshiper of God. A worshiper of God. And I have you to know that Evangelist Jones was a woman of that nature. She did not play when it come to condition of her heart and soul. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with your whole heart, soul, and mind. You got to love God with everything you got. Believe that God gave his son and his son gave his life that we may live after the life in this world. Hallelujah. Now everybody going to go to, up to the other side. But you don't want to go not knowing who the Lord is. In the book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter 15 and about verse 51. Say behold I show you. A mystery. You see. God is going to perform. Upon us, Paul said, I have shown you a mission. We shall not all sleep. All of us ain't going to sleep. 
but we shall be changed. In a moment of the quickening of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be a raised, an incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Can you say yes? I say we shall be changed. How many know, amen, that our precious one here is coming back? Amen. Because she's not dead. She's merely sleeping. And in that day, God going to say to the angel, amen, blow your trumpet. Need not blow so hard, but blow easy. For these are they that died in the Lord. In other words, they ain't dead no how. They're just sleeping. Hallelujah. Just sleeping. So you don't you don't want to. Hallelujah, Mr. Ward. Hallelujah. Thanks. It's time to get on the Lord's side. It's time to be a true believer in God as well as in yourself. So many of us are cutting our blessings short because we want to use the Lord. We want God to come when we want him to come. We want the Lord to come when it's to our advantage. Can I get a witness here? But if we just say to Satan. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to command myself to walk truly. Before a savior. Since you. You'd be so surprised. Of the blessings of the Lord. How God will bless you. And be stoned upon you. The things of this world. God got everything. We don't have to do nothing wrong to get it. We just need to glorify the name of the Lord. Amen? Let's stay with God. Huh? So you see, now I have, now this I say, blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Amen? And we shall all be asleep, but we shall be comfortable. And in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised. Incorrupted. Incorrupted. Can you say amen? Now, before you do this, amen, you got to believe that Jesus is the Christ. The son of God. Amen. And then you got to be baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Well. Well. What you mean in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because one day Jesus said to John. Say. I, I, I need, indeed need to be baptized. And, and John didn't want to do it. And he said. Suffer. To be so. Thanks. You got to go down in the water and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You don't want to get to the river. You don't want to get to the day of judgment and find out you ain't got everything. Can you say amen? In the second chapter of Acts, it's the Bible declared amen that uh, Peter preached the gospel. He preached the gospel and Previous to that, Jesus had told Peter, Peter, I'm giving you the keys with a possible yes to the kingdom of God. In other words, whatsoever you loose in heaven, uh, whatever you bind on earth, I'll bind it. Went down in the water. Can you say amen? 
and over 3,000 people were saved. Amen. One day. Let's take it easy here. Let's take it easy. Amen. Because God don't be caring how you look. He glorify a little bit of dancing. Amen. But when it comes to living holy. When it comes to living holy. And righteousness. And worshiping. And worshiping God. Amen. How are you going to worship me? Amen. I'm going to make love to God. You can't make love to God in, up in the hotel or somebody else. <clears throat> Y'all don't preach. I'm just going to talk. You. The miracle is going to perform in your life. You are expecting eternal life. Well, let me slow that down. When you say you are suffering the consequence in this old body, but your reward with God will be eternal. What will a man give for in this change for his life? Amen. Is there anything on earth that uh, you could pinpoint, amen, that you would exchange for salvation? Because if it is, if you think so, you're insane. You're insane. Hallelujah. Trials and tribulations are going to confront us. But we don't have to yield to nothing that will provoke us from so great a salvation. Can you say amen? Amen. Living holy ain't nothing to play with. It ain't nothing to play with. When one suffer the consequences in this world and you become a sacrifice, your body become a sacrifice for eternal life. Hallelujah. And when you believe on him, as the scriptures say, then out of your belly shall flow rivers of water. And the river of water means the spirit of God. The spirit of God will flow into you. Can you say amen? You, you got to become a sacrifice for the kingdom. I wonder if anybody here willing to suffer the consequences. Just wave that hand for me. You waving your hand? Hit that organ and say, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Wave your hand again and say, oh, Jesus. Have mercy on me now. I'm in need of help. Oh, oh, Lord. Walking in the truth. On the other shore of the while. Can you see yeah, Lord? I know God gonna give me joy. Yeah. If I keep on running. It's gonna be all right after a while. God bless you. Time to go.
This time we're going to ask the ushers to come assist us. I need the Lord every day. I need the Lord every day. As I travel along the way, you can run away until me say. I need the Lord every day. I need the Lord every day. I need the Lord every day. As I travel. I need the love. 
Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Jesus. Even better than me. Jesus. That I've been to myself. Jesus. Jesus in the morning. Jesus. Jesus in the new day. Jesus. Jesus in the evening. Jesus. 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 In the midnight hour. I love the Jesus, 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 What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Jesus. 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 Baby, baby. Jesus. 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 Help me call it. Help me call it. Jesus. 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 Power in the name. Power in the name. Jesus, Jesus, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name?
We are not 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 I know the sun's gonna shine after a while. I know the dark hour will soon pass over. And we'll shout hallelujah by and by. I know the dark hour will soon pass over. Sun gonna shine after a while. Dark hour will soon pass over. And we'll shout hallelujah by and by. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. One of these days. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.
Thank you. 